First of all, a word of warning. If you've fallen in love with your gemstone, think twice before using a microscope. We should always love our gemstones, how they look with the naked eye. Seeing it at 10 times magnification can do nothing but detract from our interest, unless you're talking about rutile quartz. And that's what we're gonna look at here, is a piece of rutile quartz. So why do you use a microscope and why are they so popular and what are the different ones to go for? Well, first of all, a 10 times loop, 10 times magnification for nearly everything you do is all you need. The standard loop, absolutely fantastic, does the job great to really study your gemstones. What I want to talk about right now though is the dark field loop. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't actually light the gemstone from underneath because that's what a lot of people think because you put the torch up through the base, turn your torch on. What it actually does, there's a mirror underneath and it spreads the light all the way around the outside. It's called lateral lighting. In other words, we're going to light the gemstone from the sides. We then look through the loop and because it's on a black background with lights coming all the way from the side, it gives us a great, great way of studying the inclusions within our rutilated course. Really shows it off really, really well. So the two reasons why this is sort of one up on a standard loop, first of all, it's the same magnification 10 times, but what you're getting is side lighting, what they call lateral lighting, and onto a, back, onto a black background. It really helps you study your rutile quartz.